All right. And from the previous section, we run the sim, uh, scenario comparison. We can also using their box chart. Uh, we'll call it some more chart, determine which one is actually uh, this, uh, significantly better. If you look at this, th the first three scenario, uh, they're reordering point the same, but actually order up to level uh, are different. So you can see that different order up to level uh, uh, quantity actually makes significant because they are not overlapping. But if you compare uh, uh, across this scenario two, scenario five, and scenario uh, uh, A, actually they are using uh, the same <clears throat> order up to level, and but the uh, reordering point are the same. You can see the f uh, with the 200 reordering point, 300 reordering point, they are really no difference since these two are overlapping. However, uh, using <clears throat> actually uh, 400 uh, as a reordering point has a significantly increase uh, this uh, average inventory level. And we can look at the service level as well. And in the other sense, uh, we can look at the, uh, the ratio between the inventory level and the service level. As you can see, when you look at the uh, <clears throat> the metal ones actually scenario two, scenario five, and scenario A, and they are using <clears throat> the same reordering point, um, but different. Uh, oh, sorry, they are using the same uh, order up to quantity level, but they're using uh, different reordering point, and didn't they have any major differences uh, as well. So. Um, <clears throat> I want to uh, start with the next one. So how we're going to better compare this? I'm going to do, uh, make a copy of this experiment. Um, I'm going to rename this into experiment use KM method. What I need to do is I'm choosing one of the methods that like best scenario using KN strategy. Okay, once we do that. <clears throat> and here what I'm trying to primary respond I want to use is using the inventory to service level ratio and I'm setting up an indifferent zone uh, 5 to 10. Okay. Uh, the higher you set it up it will create an indifference zone and bigger so that means you trigger uh, the system, the optimizer, to run more replications in order to achieve. So let's put it five for now, and see. And the maximum replication is 100. And default start was a 10 replication as a stator over here. So I'm going to start running again. The every sim, uh, every uh, service level is well 90% uh, as a minima. So I'm going to run this. <coughs> Okay, and finish runs, and again, <clears throat> and for this, actually, it runs uh, for most of the parts, I finish in 10 replication, but for scenario number four, actually, in order to get it within di different zone with the others, it runs actually additional four iteration, uh, replication, in order to get a proper uh, distinguish from others, and same thing for scenario number seven, Again, uh, it choose the scenario number five, uh, four is the best, and it shows this, uh, the statistics over here. And okay, when well we can show uh, observation number uh, limits, and <clears throat> so actually you can uh, see how uh, the outcome is. So this will help us using uh, help using the so-called Kim and Nielsen method determining which one is actually the best among the others, and uh, they can. But if I run this, um, put it into a hundred, which is bigger, 
an indifferent zone and I want you to pay attention to the runs again <clears throat> Okay, so it takes more iteration for overall and to determine uh, the indifference zone. Again, the KAM method very consistently chooses the real number four as the best scenario. And this quickly conc uh, concludes this 11.6.